it is a disease that peaks in the elderly. Um, and um, it really tends to peak um, around 60s in the sixth or seventh decade of life. Um, it also tends to um, involve um, Africans Americans a lot. Um, and there is one population um, where we have some data to suggest that we actually have an increased incidence of cutaneous T cell lymphoma. And those are the um, US um, military veterans. Like I pointed out before, the cutaneous T cell lymphomas are part of the larger group of non Hodgkin lymphomas. And the Veteran Administration really clearly recognizes uh, service in Vietnam, one point and or exposure to Agent Orange during military service as um, being associated with the development of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. And that group, like I said, also includes uh, cutaneous T cell lymphomas. So we, while we don't see a clear, or we don't know whether it's a causal relationship, but there is clearly a relation between agent or an exposure and or service in uh, military service in Vietnam and cutaneous T cell lymphoma. Um, yeah, nobody has really formally studied that and we don't know of any really definitive cause of cutaneous T cell lymphomas, but environmental factors um, most certainly seem to play a role.